Today on Acupuncturemasterclass.com, what do all those numbers mean on the side of your acupuncture box? Why they're important and why every student should know them before they start needling. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we have our close-up screen. Just going to go through these uh, numbers here a little bit. So we're going to start off with the box. The box, we have two important numbers. So just first number, also in millimeters. So we have a 0 0.20 thickness. So the first number is generally the gauge. So it is 0 0.20 of a millimeter in thickness. And the second number that we have is length. So we have length of 30 millimeters in length. So this particular needle is your typical one sun needle. Although traditionally, the length of a one sun needle is usually 25 millimeters in length. So this is just a little bit longer than your traditional one sun needle. And just for reference, the one sun needle that came out of that box located here. So there's your one sun needle. You'll also notice on the box, expiry date, always be checking your expiry dates. Needles can go bad, they can oxidize, they can break easily once they've oxidized, so make sure you keep an eye on the expiry date. And uh, usually you'll also find uh, the expiry date and these numbers on the back of your needle packaging. Let me just bring one up to, uh, to center here just so you can have an idea of what that might look like. So wait till that comes into focus there so you can see we have expiry date and we have needle size on the back of the needle package. Okay, so the needles we have laid out here for you. First one, 15 millimeters in length, making it your half sun needle. So half sun needle there, as discussed, there is our one sun needle, so that's our 30 millimeter in length. Here's my penny for reference there, just to give you guys an idea of how long these needles are in reference to something familiar. Next needle, this is 40 millimeters in length. So with a 40 millimeter length, we're talking about a 1.5 sun length. So 1.5 for 40 millimeters. Down here is our 50 millimeters in length. Being uh, 25 times two, that's gonna get us our two sun needle in length. And the last one that we're showing here, this is our 75 millimeter length, making it a three sun needle. Obviously this isn't the longest needle you can get. You can get up to 90 quite easily. Uh, so needles can get a little bit longer than the one below, but this group of needles that we have here, generally the most common needles you're gonna use in an acupuncture clinic, you've got to know these numbers. When you choose an acupuncture point, and then you notice some of the things about your, your patient. You should be able to know exactly which needle you need. Thickness, length will all play a role in clinical outcomes, so all very important to know. So let's talk about some of the things that uh, will influence your needle choice. So which needle you choose is dependent on a number of things, a uh, number of variables. Um, so needle selection depends on uh, things such as uh, the most important one really, which is traditional needle depth. So if you're looking into your notes, you look into your books, how deep is this needle supposed to go? Is it supposed to be half a sun, uh, three quarters of a sun, one full sun? These are things you should know before you reach your acupuncture point. So uh, acupuncture point depth, very important. As you can imagine, the size of the patient kind of determines what kind of a, uh, a needle you will choose. Generally speaking, smaller individual, smaller needle, larger individual, perhaps larger, thicker, longer needle. Uh, likewise, uh, there are sensitive and non-sensitive body parts. So if you're needling somebody's finger, you don't want to be using a super thick needle. If you're needling somebody's uh, glute muscle, you don't want to be needling with a super thin needle. So that might determine uh, what kind of a needle size you would get. Uh, patient comfort level, of course, is important. You want to make sure that uh, your patient is comfortable. If you put a needle in and it feels too strong, maybe a thinner needle the next time, or if it's not strong enough, perhaps a thicker needle the next time. Uh, this is kind of similar to needle sensation or no needle sensation. Some people are just super sensitive and some people are not sensitive at all. So you have to be considering those factors when choosing your needle length and gauge. Uh, 
Uh, and finally, needling technique. Uh, are you using freehand technique or tube insertion? Tube insertion is good for all types of needles and gauges. Uh, the freehand, you will generally need a thicker needle. So make sure you have a thicker needle for that particular purpose and it will make your freehanding experience all that much better. So that's the long and short of it for needle gauges and lengths. I hope you've learned something. Certainly subscribe to stay tuned for more videos and make any comments below. I'd love to hear from everyone. Have a great day and stay tuned.